Hey guys, so I'm sure that you've already figured this out, but I hate cooking unless I'm cooking like huge batches of things that I know are going to keep me from having to cook later in the week. See, I think way ahead. Okay, well today I'm cooking calzones for Christopher, which I can't have them because I have a million food allergies. Um, one, I'm trying to stop eating gluten. Oop. Sorry, y'all. I don't know what happened. Okay, so one, I'm trying to stop eating gluten. Two, I'm allergic to tomatoes. And three, I'm not supposed to have a lot of dairy because I don't do well with lactose. So pizza is like the worst thing I could possibly eat because of like all my food allergies and things I'm trying to stop eating because I feel a lot better when I don't eat gluten and stuff like that. But Christopher really likes pizza, but I want to make something that he can take with him to school and reheat later. So one of my favorite recipes is, I call them taquitos, that's what my family calls them, but they're like little taco rolls. And I made so many two weekends ago, and we ate all of them. Like by now, our freezer is empty of taquitos. And there's still some red beans and rice left. Only Christopher can eat that because it has tomato in it. And it has sausage and I don't eat red meat and I don't eat pork, which is considered a red meat, but just in case you didn't know, I don't eat that. So um, only he eats those. But today I'm making calzones for Christopher. And I bought this um, pizza dough at Trader Joe's for a dollar twenty nine for a big um like ball of pizza dough. See? Like that's part of it. This is the rest of that one. And I just rolled it out with this rolling pin, which we got for our wedding, but I haven't used yet. So that's kind of nice. Um and I'm just gonna try to make calzones. I've never made them before. I've only made pizzas and like grilled pizzas, so I'm kind of nervous because I hate like pizza crust that's still doughy. So I'm trying to roll it out real thin, but if y'all have any tips for making better calzones, please let me know, or like the best way to freeze them or something, because I just make up all the recipes that I make, and sometimes they're good, sometimes they're terrible. Christopher eats them anyway, because he's like the human garbage disposal, but still like, I don't know if these are gonna be any good, and I can't taste them once I've got the red sauce in them, so. I don't know how it's going to go, but let me know if you have a good calzone recipe because I've never made them before and I'm a little nervous to see how these are going to turn out. I don't know, so comment below with any tips that you have for making calzones. We love you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Bye. Okay, one other thing that I forgot to mention is that I am super frugal. like crazy frugal will not spend money on anything so if you're frugal like me and you just like to save money as much as you can so that you can spend money on you know places you want to go and things you want to see then these calzones see they're huge that's my hand next to it those are pretty big if you like to save money like me then these calzones are the way to go Okay, this is all the ingredients we used, or that I'm using. Turkey pepperoni, the Hormel kind, from Target. I think it was probably like $2.50 for a bag of them, which I don't really eat those, but Christopher likes them. And um, I just bought um, Trader Joe's red sauce. I think it's just like traditional marinara. Yeah, traditional marinara. $1.29. Like, that's awesome. I'm going to put some capers in some of them. Because I love capers, but I think Christopher does too. He'll eat kind of whatever I make. So I'm just going to test out some recipes on him. And cheese, which we got this from Trader Joe's. Huge bag of mozzarella for, I believe, $2.79 or $3.79. I can't remember. And this Trader Joe's pizza crust, it's called um, Ready to Bake Garlic and Herb Pizza Dough. And I've so far been able to make um, 
four pretty big um, calzones out of each roll of the, or each ball of dough, and each ball of dough costs $1.29. And I'm making four pizza crusts out of it. Isn't that awesome? Like one um, calzone is gonna be like a lunch size portion for Christopher. And I'm actually making some for my little sister, Emily, too, um, because she loves pizza and she's in a sorority and an education major. So she is always so busy. So I just texted her and I asked, um, if she wanted me to make her some since I'm making such a big batch anyway I bought four balls of dough and that's gonna make like 16 calzones so I'm making four for Emily and 12 <coughs> sorry I have really bad allergies right now um, I'm making four for Emily and 12 for Christopher and um, we always keep things in our freezer like extra food and stuff usually these baskets have all of our food that I make big quantities of but this is how much um, we have like four or five of these left and that's the red beans and rice so yeah I'm just working on cooking large batches of things I'm gonna make some apple turnovers for Christopher and Emily also um, because I have an extra um, pizza not pizza crust an extra pie crust left over from when I made that blueberry pie so if you want any of the recipes I'll try to post them down below in the comment section if they work out if they don't just pretend like it never happened